This little peanut girl. You're so sweet and cuddly. Alrighty, today, first thing I'm doing is laundry. We had a quick setback. Let me turn down my movie. I have White Christmas on. I just had Matt watch the choreography scene because he's never seen um, White Christmas. It's so dark in our apartment. My setback this morning was that even I had to go into the bathroom because I had a huge warning on my phone saying that in our area there was a tornado warning. Now, tornado warning means that there was a funnel cloud sighted. Tornado watch is that there could be on the lookout. There could be like conditions that could cause tornadoes are in the area. So like be on the lookout, whereas a tornado warning means that there has been um, sightings of funnel clouds. So I'm gonna show you outside. I don't think we actually ever showed you our It's Good To Be Home Matt is out there. It's really not raining anymore. Matt came out of his room and we were in the bathroom. So I was like, you need to be careful. Like, where are you going? And so Matt like ended up like not going to, um, to work for like 15 extra minutes just to make sure that he wasn't getting in his car in the middle of a tornado warning. So that is over. Uh, but it's supposed to be like this all day long like it's gonna be a really rainy day which may work in our favor because we have some stuff that we have to get done before we get to Chicago We're kind of in like the last push of getting ready and I have a, a rush job that I need to get taken care of before we go plus like Christmas cards and shopping and just a whole bunch of other stuff that we have to do before we go it's raining it's pouring yeah. They do not know that I am home early. Still gonna work, but it's about noon. I'm gonna work the rest of the day from home. Um, funny thing about Florida is I guess they don't have tornado warnings too often. And there's like a lull in the storm like it was big this morning. It's gonna be big this afternoon around, around the commute home time. So um, my whole team was like, we're just gonna finish the day from home. Wanna know something? There's a positive, I'm talking to the vlog, sir. <laughs> There's a positive and a negative to being a freelance designer. And I guess this is with all jobs, but freelance it happens sometimes, is she makes her own hours. That's the thing of the negative about that is when five o'clock or 5.30 hits, it does not dictate the day is over because she's got client work that she wants to get done before the holiday. Moral of the story is. Moral of the story is we're going to the Bugs for dinner and I'm starving because we also have on grocery shopping because we're about to leave the house so we didn't go on a full on grocery trip because we didn't want to stock the kitchen and leave it i'm going to get us a snack some chips or french fries or a sub sandwich or something <laughs> small to <laughs> to chew on before we go to the bugs because we're looking like another hour or so for sarah's oh, design work tell us the truth tell us now if ever hold your peace i just told you i don't know peter my computer is a freezeaholic <laughs> evidence that sarah's computer is jacked up one two, three premieres, and one, two, three, four. What is it, Illustrator? Mm-hmm. How do you live? I turn it off and turn it back on again. 17 times a day? Just about. Today was better than yesterday. It's time for my shot. Do you, want, do you want Gary Vee on in the basket? So we're back at it again. Mm -hmm. This is our third official IUI for our fer infertility treatments. Getting the needle here. My goal is to not mess this up at all. Because <laughs> if you recall, the first time I did it, I stabbed myself with the needle of Overdrill. And then the second time I did it. You bent the needle. I bent the needle. You're also in a parking lot. Yeah, we were also in the Wilderness Lodge <laughs> parking lot. So we won't show it. Don't don't get don't get squeamish, but it is happening. And then the procedure is Saturday morning. I got a sever in the gut with this. A few moments later. I did it. I did it. I did it perfectly. I didn't bend the needle. I didn't stab myself. I didn't do nothing bad. So now. I didn't even cry. She didn't even cry. She didn't the last two times. So <laughs> She's a champ. Uh, put a comment down below that says, Sarah, you are a rock star and you're the best thing ever. But we're gonna go now because it's later. Because Sarah was working late. She's not even done yet, but we're just gonna finish later, right? Right. 
They got burners in Publix. I was looking for cheer wine and I found pop from up north. I don't know what the deal is with that. <laughs> Seriously. Also, like, burners is up north. Laundry detergent here was eight dollars. So we had to get some. So cheap. That's what happens when you get pumped when you are growing up. You're like, wait, eight dollar detergent? <laughs> Might as well get it. The laundry detergent was on sale for six dollars. So if you need detergent and you live near Publix, go and go now. Oh my gosh, it's a clean, fresh Lucy Pearl. Say hello. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and Jess just got gifts from your aunt? Yeah, my Aunt Debbie. And I think the most ridiculous but amazing thing, <laughs> delivered to Florida. Where's your aunt live? So, they're from Tennessee. So this Not came from far. Chattanooga, Tennessee. It probably was like 10 hours away total. Okay. Yeah. That's not bad, but that looks like good fudge. It's good southern fudge. It's the recipe from the back of the marshmallow fluff jar. Shall we time lapse them? Say yes. <laughs> jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, oh what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. Over the fields we go, laughing all the way. Ha ha ha! One more time? For the different angle. <laughs> Say again. <coughs> Say again. Say again. 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 Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Lucy Pearl, how pumped are you? She seems pretty pumped. Yeah. <laughs> we got garlic. We got cranberry ginger ale. We got bread. More sauces. More cheesy bread. I think these are Josh's, but those are wings. Food, food, food. But Josh isn't here. Okay, we'll do it when Josh comes. Josh, Josh came home and he's infected me with the need to want to get a Dr. Phillips subscription. No, we're gonna we're gonna split it. Josh is home, by the way. This is Hi. Josh. His name is Josh. Cheers. His first name is Josh. His other first name is Josh. His doesn't name right there is Josh. Boom. <laughs> oh, what is going on? Oh, okay, His name is Josh. If you didn't know, Josh, it's me. I, I originally it's me, said it's your boy Josh. It's your boy Josh. Sometimes I originally said that we were gonna go halfsy halfsy mm -hmm. on the Dr. Phillips subscription mm -hmm. next season. Mm -hmm. Now I think we're just all gonna get our own. We're just gonna all go in full full Monty, if you will. For white Christmas, I believe is uh, the D level. Nice, but because like, we're row four, ooh, perfect. row D of this, and I think it's like on the edge of orange to blue. Ooh. And then next season, we're gonna sit somewhere in this area, yep, yep. all of us together. All the shows will be every right. show. So Sarah doesn't realize, Josh, Josh, your mom made this, right? This piece Did of heaven. Mom make that, Joey? This black and white cake. It's coconut and chocolate. Thank you very much. She made this, yes. And it's only fitting because Tyler just came home. Who's that? This, this is the vlog. Oh. It's the so, vlog. I don't know what that Tell is. Tell hi to the vlog. You guys have a YouTube channel? Video uh, vlog. It's actually brand new. Brand new YouTube it's channel. It's called The Burkhart Project. Have you ever heard about them? My name is Peter Burkhart. Hey. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We're cleaning our twin rings. Which one is me? I don't know. Look at the rings. And then we're going to brush or brush them. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay. All the gunk and surgery. <gasps> Look at it! Oh my gosh! It's coming in. Look. Oh my. My ring was disgusting. <gasps> True friendship. Uh, that was a perfect. They yeah, look so good. Yeah, half of this debris is from my <laughs> ring and half of this is from Precisely. <laughs> Have we shown them, them our rings before? I think This like, is what we initially bonded over. Uh, yeah, I think like the first night that we played Ticket to Ride, I had showed it. But our rings are basically like twins. Similar, very, very similar. Siblings. Have you met anybody else with rings like that? No. Yeah, me either. So what we did, I guess I could hold the camera, but this is just easier. <laughs> Here, you're gonna try it. We clean. did, um, what was it? It was a tablespoon of blue, blue Dawn dish soap. They said that was important. You can't see oh. my eyes, but I'm here. <laughs> And then about a half a cup of Windex, heat it up for 45 seconds, and it wasn't quite deep enough, so I just added a little bit of water to make it deeper, so like 
all they would be fully soaking. But when I picked up Sarah's, like, I mean, half, yeah. half of the debris. <laughs> Precisely half is Joey's. Was like hanging off of her ring. Wow. It soaked for 30 minutes. Wow, 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 wow. Look at that. And my ring, we were, we did some research um, because my ring is platinum. Like sometimes like you can't like get, just get it cleaned at the mall. Oh yeah. my gosh. They're very yeah. similar. Super similar. <laughs> I'm so happy. Merry Christmas present to ourselves. Do you, you have, have like, a toothpick? I'm, I'm about to make Josh <laughs> yeah. blueberry cobbler coffee, Alyssa and Nat. So sparkly. <gasps> we have similar. Bands. They're both shaped. Yeah, like around it. When you put on your um, wedding band, like when mm -hmm. you got married, was it different? Like, like this was more worn in. Than oh this? yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. I was like, I literally noticed it when we got like on stage married. I was like, oh, they're different colors. <laughs> and then also like because like your wedding band goes first. Yeah. I wore my engagement ring on my right hand like during the oh, okay. ceremony and like all the pictures look super weird because I'm wearing it like this. My sister Until dropped my ring during the prayer. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Wowie wow. So fresh. I feel so like special. I know it's so sparkly. Okay I'm glad we did that. <laughs> Me too. Good call. Yes I'm finally catching it so this is what it looks like when it's actually like frothing over. It does that gurgle because the pressure change. Put a comment down below and say Merry Christmas, Tyler, Joy, Beth, and Josh, because you're not going to see them in the vlog oh, yeah, until Merry after Christmas. Christmas. Read this book, it's great. Happy Christmas. Read this book, it's great. We read it together as, as a little family here. Yeah, you're here for a reason. I'm almost done. And then it's bedtime? Mm -hmm. Okay. A hard working lady. Hey everybody, my name is Peter Burkhardt. I'm a YouTuber. YouTuber by night data analyst, robotics programmer by day. It's 1.15 in the morning, but Sarah's almost done. Um, I don't know if we've ever said this rule, but Sarah and I have a rule that we learned on our honeymoon from, we drove Route 66 from Chicago, Santa Monica during a portion of our uh, nine days of our honeymoon, and we learned a lot of lessons heard from mostly people of older generations, people who have never been married, who have been married multiple times, people who have been married for decades, we heard a lot of like repeating stories and bits of advice and one of the things was uh always go to bed together and so that means like they prefer like they would people who told us that were like talking about um it's preferable like it works out better if one person in the couple does not end up staying up super late to get a bunch of work done or to do other stuff and the other one go to bed it's like, no, that nighttime time is supposed to be to, like, decompress together, to just be together, and not to basically leave one person behind. Um, but, like, tonight, Sarah, we came home from the bugs, and I could have gone to sleep with Eve, like, an hour and a half ago. But instead, while well, Sarah's working, but instead I'm staying awake, and she's just finishing now, and so she's about to get ready for bed, and we're going to have that time alone together to be just pals to pal around with our dog. Palsy walsy. I was explaining the rule that we try to follow that we've never talked about before about staying awake. Yeah. It's Every just, once a in a while thing. in a blue moon, you know, like if yeah, I have like to stay you, awake and you have to like go to work early in the morning. Right, or like last like, time I was driving, like one of the times we were in mm -hmm. Chicago, you stayed awake to finish stuff before we went to Chicago and I needed to sleep because I was going to drive early yeah. and you could sleep There's in the always car. exceptions to every rule, but... But we're a team, so we do things mm -hmm. together as a team. Guys, look how sparkly my ring is. She's all jazzed because she hasn't cleaned it in forever and it was nasty. But it looks pretty. Yeah. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>